Clock here on your Wednesday night. We're starting with an earthquake over in Elgin again today. The largest quake in our state since 2014. It happened just a few hours ago around 245 or so. It was 3.5. It was centered not far from Lugolf Elgin. They have seen numerous earthquakes since December. Residents all across the Midlands and even some up in Charlotte said they felt it. There was also a second and third earthquake in Elgin today. Those are the common aftershocks. They uh, came in at 2 and 1.8. And today's quakes come just three days after a few similar quakes shake the Midlands. The first was a 3.4 quake that happened in the same area very early Sunday morning. And like today, that quake was also felt throughout the Midlands and even all the way up in the Charlotte area. A few hours later, three aftershocks were recorded, the strongest of magnitude 1.8. Now, these recent quakes follow a string of rumblings that started in Elgin back in December. Uh, more than 30 of them right now, I believe, if my count is correct. No exact reason for the sudden earthquakes or their clustering in the Lugolf Elgin area has yet been provided. Going to send things over now to News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. He is in our studio tonight with more information on this, Corey. Yeah, JR, and we have the exact count for you actually for how many we've seen. You can see all these white dots on the map. Those are earthquakes that we've seen in Kershaw County since December. That now totals to 41 earthquakes. Most of them are very close here to St uh, State Road 12 as well as I-20 right outside of Elgin. So if you live nearby, you have felt it over the last couple of months, but this is not out of the normal. You can see historically speaking, South Carolina can be a very seismically active state. In fact, we see the most earthquakes out of the entire East Coast. Of course, Charleston, they had a very large 7.7 .7 earthquake back in the 1800s, so uh, they're used to big ones down there. And as for what we've been seeing, they've been on the lighter side, around 3.3 .3 to 3.5. So when we get around there, you can feel it, you can hear it, but thankfully no damage and hopefully things stay that way. But of course, as we keep going, we're going to let you know what's going on with all these earthquakes. But let's also 